Shalom, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Doing a screen capture today, friends. Uh, it's kind of getting late here in East Europe. We are seeing some very serious news that is coming out. U.S. prepared militants for conducting chemical attacks poised to hit Syria, according to the Russian MOD. Uh, but here's what's more serious about this. Russia, in this article, is claiming... Uh, I think that is uh, actually Lavrov that's claiming, uh, so I'm sorry, as Sergei, General Sergei Rudsky uh, said, we note the evidence of the preparation for possible attack strike groups of naval carriers with cruise missiles are being formed in the eastern port of the Mediterranean, in the Persian Gulf, and in the Red Sea. Chief of the main operational directorate of the Russian General Staff, Colonel General Sergei Rudsky, uh, Rudsky, excuse me, Rudoskoy said. That's what he actually has said here. And there, you know, it's really kind of hard to find the evidence. I had one friend of mine, it's kind of funny, I'd already found the article in a friend on Facebook. I think it was uh, Billy Night Train actually sent that to me. Uh, an article saying that they're building up in the Eastern Mediterranean naval forces prepared to strike Syria. Well, I did a little bit of looking, a little digging just to see, do we have any types of uh, ships, according to what we're seeing spoken about here, according to the general, the Russian general here, that says that the, the, the U.S. has built up its forces in the eastern Mediterranean, the Persian Gulf, and the Red Sea. And sure enough, there is some truth to it. Now, this is kind of an oddball type of uh, website right here, but I'll kind of blow the article up for you just a little bit. This was a question uh, whether or not the Pentagon denies uh, or says denies U.S. fleet deployed in the Mediterranean to protect Exxon Mobil drilling operations because there was a U.S. naval fleet being deployed into the eastern uh, Mediterranean. That's according to the Daily News. The Hurriyet Daily News is actually reporting this here. Uh, so it does show, and this was coming out because of the, uh, it says here the Pentagon officials' remarks came shortly after some Greek uh, Cypriot media outlets had suggested that U.S. Sixth Fleet will accompany an Exxon exploration vessel in its hydrocarbon activities in disputed areas of the eastern Mediterranean against potential Turkish military intervention. Now, the Navy says that they're actually involved with joint drills with Israel, which is a continuing drill that, that goes on in the eastern Mediterranean. All right, so there are course scheduled drills this is on March the 9th 2018 when this was this came out well this article here though come out as well March 16th Chris Cavas on Twitter stated here the Theodore Roosevelt the carrier Theodore Roosevelt the CVN 71 an escorting destroyer Higgins the DDG 76 operating in the Persian Gulf yesterday all right, so there are, the ships are in the vicinity, and it is kind of ironic that the U.S. would build up so much force, as I did run across one other article that spoke about the Red Sea, uh, but the, the group has been there a little bit longer than uh, just recently here, but it's kind of ironic that not only Russia, but also the Syrian Times is also reporting about a false flag chemical weapons attack the U.S. is planning to strike government-held districts in Damascus as a response, according to the chief of the Russian general staff, Valery uh, Gerasimov. And so it's, it's being published everywhere. Sputnik, of course, uh, first carrying this article here from the Russian MOD, what is being planned there. And going so far as to say that the U.S. has been training uh, the jihadists on how to use those chemical weapons. Now, we, in our in-depth story that we did here on Israeli News Live uh, a couple of weeks back there, we covered it like on several days. We also uncovered the evidence where the U.S. Army had been, uh, not only had been training in the country of Jordan back uh during, during the time of 20, 2012, been training the jihadists on how to handle chemical weapons, had also made mock uh, launchers for chemical weapons, and very interesting things we share with you guys then. So now we're seeing it all over again. Russia is saying that it's happening. Uh, says right here, Jihabat al-Nusra militants along with the White Helmets are preparing a staged chemical, chemical attack 
and Al Gahabit and Kalib Lusa communities, situated 25 kilometers or 15 miles to the northwest of Idlib, there are 20 chlorine containers in their possession, said the Russian general staff. Also said in the area of the city of uh, Altant, American instructors have prepared several groups of militants to carry out provocations in the south of Syria, said uh, Rutskoy. So it makes sense why the U.S. would already be putting all their ships into place because they know what's going to happen. And that's what's really sad. That's a deep state at work. You know, friends, like I've said before, General Wesley Clark was the true patriot. He told us this was going to happen. He said the U.S. was going to take down seven nations, including, of course, or starting with, uh, with, with uh, Iraq, then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, uh, Sudan, and as well as Iran. These nations all being taken down. And, and friends, I mean, if they've not already fallen already, they're on the verge of falling. Uh, it's just a matter of time. And it's really sad to see that this is happening, uh, unfortunately. But, but the evidence is there. So what Russia is saying, when Russia says there are those fleets, strike groups of naval, uh, naval carriers with cruise missiles are being formed in the eastern part of the Mediterranean, in the Persian Gulf, and in the Red Sea. That's true. I mean, the evidence is already there. It's different articles about different issues there. No one actually saying that that's what they're there for, but they are there. And, you know, I'm afraid it's going to be a showdown. Now, Russia is already saying as well in the article, if you read the article, that any strike on their forces, and even they include Damascus, uh, that Russia will respond. And that's the first time we've seen Russia get that bold and not just saying against their own forces, but even a strike on Damascus would cause the Russian military to respond there. One other point it says here today, one can say that the situation in Eastern Ghouta has radically changed. Right now you are witnessing a humanitarian operation of unique scale just today, 26,610 civilians left Eastern Ghouta through the humanitarian corridor, while the entire number of people who've left Eastern Ghouta has reached 44,639. So they're trying to get these people out of there. The jihadists have been trying to hold them up for some time. And I'm, I'm just, you know, friends, I'm afraid we're really on the verge of a very serious uh, rise of uh, of conflict. And the sad thing is, is the Western media is just not telling the American public what's going on. They're, they're not telling you that the White Helmets are a terrorist organization. The, the White House, uh, excuse me, not the White House, but the State Department had been saying the entire time, put a spotlight on East Gouda. And I knew immediately when they were saying that they're planning an operate, there's an operation in planning they're going to do a chemical weapons attack, make it look like it was Syria to justify it, get enough news and media outlets that can support the false narrative to get the justification to launch an attack on this country. It's coming. It's just a matter of days. It's a matter of time. And unfortunately, you know, Russia was bringing this war to a conclusion, but deep state's just not going to let it happen. I hate to say it. I hate it for the people of Syria. So many innocent people being targeted. And yet, well, they made Russia into the big, bad, big, big, bad boogeyman to begin with. And, and you know what's amazing, though, is that President Putin still refers to the United States as our, our partners. Trying, trying to, to, to extend a hand of peace, but always falling on deaf ears. And then all these fake attacks and stuff, all these staged, uh, just like in uh, the the UK, you know, yeah, people, innocent people die or get hurt. There's no doubt about it. But that's what's really sad. That shows you how deep, deep state can get, not just in the United States. Now we see it in UK as well, willing to put other people's lives at risk just so they can say Russia did it. You know, if the evidence was there, boy, I'd be right there with you. 
You know, I, I, my whole life as an American, I always thought Russia was a big bad boogeyman as well. I had no had no idea that a lot of the things that we had been taught to believe were just false. I had no idea that it was Jesuits that created the Soviet Union. Uh, but as we as our eyes come open, we see and we learn more things. Anyway, I don't want to keep rambling on. Guys, uh, look at it for yourselves there. See what's going on. Stay vigilant. Evening's closing here. It is a very serious situation. Pray for the people all over the world, um, you know, including the American soldiers that are there as well. You know, that puts our our brothers and sisters at risk and at harm's way to get into a conflict like this. Because if there is a retaliation, not to say that we might not win the war, but nonetheless, if there's a retaliation, what, what are we in the, there in the first place for? And the retaliation may take many American lives as a result too. I'm Stephen Bennett with Israeli News Live, Arab Tilly.